Merry Christmas, I'm Marie from MaxFit and today I'd like to show you a simple 10 to 15 minute workout you can do at home. The first exercise I'm going to show you is the squat. You're going to do 20 reps of body weight squats. If you'd like to make it harder and you have some weights at home, you can grab a weight. So bring your feet shoulder width apart and push the hips back, keeping the back and chest upright. 20 times. Okay, make sure you do a little warm up before you do this workout. Some stretches, maybe a little jog around the neighborhood. 20 reps. All right, now we're gonna switch over to an upper body exercise. If you have a carpet at home, just slide over your furniture and use the carpet. Ladies, you can go down on your knees and do your 20 push-ups. Gentlemen, on the toes, and woo, I'm shaking. All right, now we're gonna move back to lower body. Lunges. To make it a little bit harder, you can add a jump. But since this is your first round, I suggest that you keep it to low impact. On the second round, you can switch legs with a jump. The last exercise is the most exciting one. If you have a carpet, this is really good if you have a carpet. All right, it's the burpee. You're gonna put your hands down to the ground, bring the chest all the way down, bring the legs up, and a small jump. If you have knee problems, don't do the jump. Just go up on your toes. Here we go. All right, so that's the first workout for the first day of the 12 days of Christmas. That simple workout you're gonna do three times. It should take you 10 to 15 minutes. Merry Christmas. We're on day two of the 12 days of Christmas. So basically you're gonna have a three day cycle because Christmas time is time to enjoy friends and family. First day, I just showed you the workout. The second day is what I'm going to do today. Today we're gonna to exercise with a timer not 20 reps. So you need to have a timer. If you can have a watch or a little timer, that's fine. Or you can even use your cell phone. So we're gonna set it to one minute. First exercise we're going to do is the plank. Going down, again, if you have a carpet, this makes it a whole lot easier. But if you have a yoga mat somewhere in your house, that also works. So hold it in and really squeeze those abs tight. Hold it for one minute. All right, so this is the low impact exercise. We'll just imagine that the one minute's done. All right, the second exercise is the jumping jacks. Set your timer. You're gonna have like 10 to 20 seconds rest in between these exercises. Here we go. All right, for the third exercise, you're gonna use good old fashioned stairs. So remember, set your timer for one minute and start going up. If it's your first round, take it slowly. Be careful when you're stepping down. I recommend that you go fast up, but take your time when coming down. Keep on going. Okay, so now we're gonna do one minute burpees. That might be more than 20 reps, so take your time and pace yourself. So, hands on the ground, chest on the floor, jack up and up. And again, if you have knee problems or your stamina is not quite up there yet, you don't need to add the jump. You can just go on your toes, up on the toes. All right, 
So that was the fourth exercise. So I hope you had a good rest on your day three. Today is day four and you're on your third workout. The first exercise we're gonna do is similar to the first exercise that we did, which was the squat, but this time you're gonna add a jump. So go down and jump up. We're gonna go back to 20 reps. Land lightly. All right, for the second exercise, you're gonna need a little bit of setup. So you should do this before you start the workout. As you can see, I have my sturdy dining room table. Do not use a flimsy pick picnic table outside, unless it's really like solid. Move the chairs out. You're gonna grab the edge of the table and go underneath the table so that you're in a pull-up position underneath the table. And you're gonna pull it yourself up. All right, to make it harder, you can extend the legs long, hang underneath your table and pull up. To make it easier, Bring the feet directly underneath your knees so you don't have as much weight on your upper body and pull it up. Your goal is to get that chin right there under the table. All right, for the third exercise, you're gonna need a little bit of space because we're gonna do skater jumps. I don't know if skaters actually do this, but that's what they're called. All right, you're gonna take a big step to the side Bring the leg back, touch the floor beside you, like an exaggerated curtsy. Keep on going for 20 reps. So those were three workouts that you can do during the 12 days of holiday at Christmas. You might have more, you might have less, and if you have more, you can just feel free to keep cycling them through. And to make it a little bit more challenging, you can always add a few more reps if you feel 20 is too easy or one minute is too short. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.